Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's your girl, the real true divine and feminine here. And I come with a quick little message for you guys. And my message to you guys is don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged because God is already working it out. He already didn't figure it all out. He already didn't figure it all out. Be still and wait upon him. Be still and wait upon him. Wait upon him in his presence. See, because you can't see what he's working out behind the scene. But little do you know, he already worked it out behind the scene. That problem you was having with somebody is already done. That financial problem you was having is already done. That sickness in your body, you already healed. Your children was acting up, they already together. God already had them took care of all that. You were having... um. Any issues in your life, God already have taken care of that. Some of y'all not paying attention to the size of the sickness that is. Y'all going outside, y'all finding money on the ground. It's because God letting you know that your financial situation is taken care of. You're seeing stuff about your, uh, everywhere you go, you're looking at billboards and stuff. You're seeing stuff about health because by his stripes you are healed. God said he would leave you. He would carry you. He would never forsake you. God said he with you everywhere he go. He says, the joy of the Lord is his your strength. Maybe you are stronger than what you think. You got to get out your head. Because guess what? The enemy is trying to make you think that you're still stuck in a situation, in a circumstance with people, places, and things. You're not stuck in anything. You're free. You're not a bird. You're not in a cage. You're free to fly how you want to fly. Don't let your mind confine you to somewhere that God has released you from. Okay? Don't let your mind confine you to where God has released you from. See, a lot of y'all be sitting in your head worried about things. It's nothing that you should worry about because you need to learn how to cast all your cares upon him because he cared for you first. Be willing to give God that problem, that worry, that cry. Never, ever, ever be shamed to go to his altar, to go to his throne. And lay down your problems, your worries, your concerns. You see, because he can fight any battle better than you can. He can take care of anybody way, way better than you can. I don't care what you feel like you can do to somebody. God always in control. He can do it better. He can do it better. When you learn how to let go and let him. Work it out. See, because he already know about your problems. He already know about your troubles. He already know what you're going through. He just waiting for you to surrender and, and and know that. Get out your ego and know that you you is not in control. You move by him. He is in control. He is in the control of everything. And you need to learn how to trust him. See, a lot of us people, we have trust issues. Big, big old trust issues. We'll say, oh, I trust God. Oh, I trust him. But our actions so different. Oh, we'll show our spouse. Oh, we trust you, but our actions so different. We'll show our children. Oh, I trust you, but our actions show difference. Action <coughs> speaks louder than words. <clears throat> and we need to learn how to start putting things into action. We need to learn how to know that God is showing us all kind of actions. Woke up, you was blessed. You seen another day. Your body wasn't hurting. You was you, you was rejuvenile, refreshed, because it was all him, his grace and his mercy. He saw fit for allow you to see another day because he got you. I'm not t I'm telling y'all, y'all get in these cars. Y'all not thanking him for this car. Y'all get to y'all destination safe. Y'all not thanking him. You get back home safe. You're not thanking him. But it was him that kept the highway. He kept the highways and the byways while you traveled. He made sure that your, your family got home safe and sound. He's done all these things for you because he's working for you. You might can't see what he's doing, but I promise you he's working on your behalf. I promise you he's the working that thing out. The problem that's keeping you up, that's problem that's making you feel like that you can't move on, God has already worked that out. He already worked it out. He already turned it around, and he did it for you because he loves you. He loved you. It's no good thing he going to withhold from the ones that he loved. He loved you, but he also, but one thing I want you to know about God, he, he is a father. 
Yes, he is. He's a father. And guess what? He chastises the one that he loves. So, baby, let me tell you something. Don't get all mad and sad and depressed when you're going through something, baby. Because guess what? He tells you, count it all joy when you fall into various trials and tribulations. So it's only a test of your faith. You got to be willing to go through this test. You got to be willing to run, walk, skip, jump, cry, have snot, everything through these tests because through these tests become your testimony. And you, when you go through something, it's not for you, but it's to help pull somebody else out. It's to help pull somebody else out. You understand? Stop looking at things that going on in your life as it's for you. Now, sometimes you got to go through something. Sometimes you got to be the guinea pig, the test dummy to go through something to bring a whole lot of people out of a circumstance and situation to wake them up to see. So never be afraid to open your mouth and tell your story. We all been through tests and we all have a testimony. It's up to you. If you're willing to share and open up. See, a lot of times, us as people, uh, guilt and shame gets us. What are you shamed for? What are you shamed for? A lot of y'all shame to say that y'all been molested. There's a lot of people that been molested. And, and matter of fact, if you, have, if you pay attention, the, the elder people, if you start talking about how you been molested and you're around somebody older, they get upset, they get mad, you shouldn't talk like that, you shouldn't do that because they been through it and they shame of it. What you ashamed of it for? Baby, let me tell you something. If you was turning tricks but you turn your life around, what you ashamed to say you was turning tricks for? If you was paying for uh, coochie and doing all the rest of that, peeping out people and doing all the rest of that, what are you ashamed of to say of what you do for? Guilt and shame does not live in you. It should not live in you. Do not be shame of nothing that you did. You did what you did. And baby, guess what? God is telling you it's okay. It's okay. You did what you did. I put it in the sea of forgiveness. I let it go. You the only one that's holding on to it. You the one holding on to the guilt and the shame of stuff that you did. Let it go. If God let it go, you should also let it go. You should also be free of all that. God is not God. God is not here to punish you, but to help you to to reach your goals, to reach your purpose for you, because He know the plans that He has for you, and His plans is for you to prosper in every aspect of your life. Every aspect of your life, God is not holding you back. You're holding yourself back. You're allowing your ego and your pride to get in your way. God is telling y'all, some of y'all now, quit that job. Let that job go. Focus up on your business. Focus up on your business. I got you. You still don't do it. God, I got this. God, I got this. I got it. He know what you got. He the one help you get that car. He the one help you get that house. He the one He the one knew when them children was going to be born. He knows. He know everything. You sat down and signed a contract before you got here, but you're scared to fulfill that contract because you're worried about some, what somebody else saying. When God is telling you, don't worry about what people did. They're going to criticize you regardless. Think about what they did to him. Because if they did it to him, they're going to deal it to you. Because who are you? Who are you that people can't criticize? Who are you that these people not going to judge? Who are you now they're going to do defamation of character? Who are you that they're not going to spit on you? Who are you that they're not going to try to hurt you in every which way? They did it to God. They did it to the one who, who, who's keeping you. The one who they know fighting for you. So what you expect? That they're not going to do it to you? Wake up. Wake up. Get serious about your life. About your health. About yourself. About your finances. God's showing you every sign of sickness that he's taking you out of your financial situation. And you're still sitting up there worried about some money. You're still sitting up there stressed and depressed about some money. Let me tell you something. Stop being guilty. Right now, if you wake up and when you see this video, you check your account. Say you got $5,000 in your account that God didn't bless you with. And you go and help somebody or you do stuff. Don't be guilty. Don't feel guilty and upset that you mishandled your money or did like you did. Because guess what? That means that you is putting yourself in a financial curse. Oh, I should have never did this. I should have never. No, you did exactly what you were supposed to do. And see, the enemy tried to make you feel like you wasn't supposed to help this one. The enemy tried to make you feel like you wasn't supposed to help that one. The enemy make you feel like you're doing this or that you didn't curse yourself and your finances. You did this. No. Nothing is happening by accident. 
If you know somebody going through something, you send them some money to help them. That's because that's what God wanted you to do. But the enemy, he also used people to try to manipulate you to get stuff out of you. So that's where your discernment has to come in. You have to learn how to use your discernment. And just not let people play off your emotions. Because people are sharks out here. They want to get, they try to suck and suck and suck away from you. Because they try to feel like they can deplete you. You see, but let me tell you something. See, the water that you have drunk, you ain't going to thirst. You won't be never be thirsty. Because it won't deplete you. But one day you're going to get up and you're going to cut off all them supplies of people who feel like they can take from you. A lot of y'all are scared to say how you didn't been financially abused by somebody. How you didn't broke your back to help, help somebody and that's all they wanted from you is finances. Help somebody else out. It's okay for you to talk about it because you're helping somebody else out. Somebody else going through that same situation, they don't know how to get out of it. Never be afraid to tell what you have been through. You don't know who life you can save. You don't know who you are helping. Open your mouth speaking out to what you've been through. If God lays something on your heart to say it, I don't care if you stutter. I don't care if you miss say words. I don't care what you got going on. Say what God has told you to say. Get up and do the things that he'll do because God is leading and guiding you. He's taking you to a place where you need to be. Don't allow the enemy to try to trick you out of your spot where God is placing you to be. God says his sheep know his voice and the voice of a stranger that he shall not follow. Make sure you're rooted and grounded so you can hear from his true voice. Make sure that's his voice you're listening to and not your own and not the voice of the enemy. Because God won't force you to do anything. He gives you free will. But he would allow you to see. You can either go with plan A, B, or C. There's always three plans. You choose which way you're going to go. You choose the road that you want. You choose the path that you're going to go on. Will it be easy? Hell no. If it got to come easy, it come from the enemy. Trust and believe that. Because anything worth working and fighting for is worth having. Think about it. You go for a job. You go to an interview. There's probably about five, ten other candidate, candidates for the uh, job. You go in, you put your best foot forward, you do what you got to do. Bam, they come out. Well, thank you, sir, 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 sir. It's down to five of y'all now. You go anything worth you got to fight for. You can't just give in. You you might not get that job. But guess what? Somebody else doing an interview too. So what you going to do? Put your best foot forward and go get that. Ain't nobody can stop you but you. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, people can throw wrenches in your life. They can delay you. But I'm telling you, man, listen, when you one with you and you true with you, what somebody else don't do, it's not going to touch you. Because guess what? I know when you're playing in my energy because I'm one with me. I know when you're trying to project something on me because I'm one with me. I know when you're trying to stop me because I'm one with me. When you become one within yourself, you're going to recognize when things going on around you that's not of you. When thoughts come in that are not of you, that's why you can cast them down. When an emotional or feeling come over you and you can return it back to the sender because it's not of you. You have to sit down and become one of one of you. Why? The Lord is leading and guiding you. He's showing you what he wants you to do. He's rewarding you. You see, y'all be looking at, at things to be big rewards. You might go outside and find a hundred dollars. You not even know. You might ask God for a hundred thousand dollars, but He gave you a hundred dollars for not just to show you it's coming. Be patient. Have faith in me. It's coming. You don't even look at it like that. You don't even look at it like that. You don't look at it like you go to the gas station. You got some stuff on your mind, stuff on your chest. You go to the gas station, and somebody come in and they bless you with something. They bless, they bless to pay for your gas. They pay for your coffee or whatever. But you just call, you just prayed and asked God for a blessing. You told God you needed a blessing. He didn't say how the blessing was going to come in. 
but he blessed you. But you can't recognize it right there because you're looking at it with a narrow vision. You're looking at things one way. When God says he will bless you in many ways. I don't know who this message is for or who this message is going to help or who needed to hear this message. But what I do know is this. Right when you feel like you can't go no more. Right when you feel like everybody have given up on you and you give up on yourself. That's when God shows up and shows out. Always remember he keeps a ram in the bush for you. I don't care how many people come against you. I don't care how many people try to stop you. As long as you don't stop you, as long as you don't go against you. Great is he that is in me and he that is in the world. You got something within you. Use it. Stand on it. Don't let nobody else plant no seed of doubt in your mind about yourself. If this message ain't for you, share it with your mama, your daddy, your uncle. Somebody need to hear it. Y'all have a blessed and prosperous Thursday. Peace.